Okay, everybody, this is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this properly, Blind Night. It's a modification for Scourge from Gettysburg, which is bar none the best American Civil War uh, uh, simulator. It's actually a simulator. Alright, let's first off make sure my modifications are okay. Yep. Queen Simple player, sandbox. We're gonna go with army versus army. It's, uh, you only do that if you're if you're capable of handling it. I am and I'm not. It's kind of okay. I'm going with infantry brigade, major general. I don't know who any of these people are. Never heard of this before. We're gonna go with infantry brigade. Army versus Army, um, starting time 7, number of objectives, we'll pull it down to 1. Objective point value, oh, I'll just leave early. 0 means unlimited. Uh, let's balance forces. Alright. And this game is extremely cheap, though. Uh, it's on Matrix. Um, also, the links will be in the description for you. If you want to uh, no, I haven't played this in a very, very long time. I was pretty fanatical about the way I was playing this. Take hours. I mean, literally, it can take hours. Or it can take 
fences. Uh, I mean, it's just walking through the woods has an effect on your true movement and your stamina values. Uh, you get bonuses, of course, for uh, you know being higher than your opponent, so that sort of thing, being behind fences. I mean, it's, it's actually the most impressive command simulator on the market. Dirt cheap is rather amazing. When I bought it. it was speed this up by pressing the plus key, but I'm not going to do that. Now imagine playing this multiplayer, where you can have, depending on you, the order of battle, um, but you can have a crap load of people playing at the same time. Now, I've always felt intimidated by the multiplayer aspect, because I, I be, uh, the people that I've been playing with are people who are really well-educated in the American Civil War. And they can get kind of antsy with the way you behave, the way you you can't really go off on your own. You can, but you'll be chastised for it. Now, not all groups that you played with would be acting that way. But that's what's pretty much stopped me personally, is because <sighs> I just never wanted to subjected to abuse. <laughs> and like I said, I'm not saying that everybody, every group that's out there is like that, but there are people who are known to be like that in this group and who play this particular simulator. But that's with almost, I, th I think, any multiplayer, uh, multiplayer aspect of pretty much any RT or uh, strategic uh, games, that sort of thing. Especially if you have someone who, who claims to be in control, you'll, if you don't do as they say, they get really quite upset. I'm not saying that's a negative point to this game because it doesn't affect the game. It's not the game's fault. It's that's what happens when you deal with other people. I certainly have a huge contingent of troops here. I mean, this is no brigade, <laughs> uh, but there are oops out there which will help you. Uh, now, say for instance, I want to go ahead and I want to choose. I can choose him, for instance, okay? And I can go and take charge from AI. Okay. Now, I can press control 1 and assign him to number 1 key. Okay, so if I go, say, over here, and I press the 1 key. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it all. I'm gonna have to change my freaking keyboard commands. should be assigned to key one. Yeah, okay it is. There it is, okay. Okay. Now if I want to bring it back into uh, 
bring him back under my my main command, my my commander, which is me. Okay, because if I say move here, move here, move here, now I'm I'm, I'm beginning to see that we're gonna be I'm gonna bring him there. Now I use my uh, greater less than keys in order to change the cursor here. Now I don't want to bunch up my men because they. change that actually as well and as you can see you can look it over the what's going on here oop oop a -da doop now if your system can't handle it now you see these icons here okay let's just go down here and I'll show you I'll show you this icon here he has support bonus because he's being supported on his flanks here now <coughs> while in battle of course, your troops are always going to be, you know, under pressure. And, uh... Having your commander near them gives them a support bonus as well. You'll get different icons showing exactly... See, right now, the unit is resting, visible to the enemy. And it'll tell you up here exactly who they have in range. Okay? That's if they are in range. Now, I'm wanting to keep the way I do... Okay, I'm going to open them up here. I'm going to put them in line formation. Now, I always, 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 always... Now, you're going to have to realize something, because your commander, if every uh, regiment is under command of your AI, okay, uh, the commander's going to make decisions on his own. He's going to call out decisions for your men, and they're going to react accordingly. So that's why you want to take command of them. Okay. Here we go, we're opening up. can die. I happen to have created a, uh, an edit a while ago. Uh, that if your commander dies, you can no longer... What we're going to do is we're going to bring them up. Put a double quick time order here. Which is kind of hard on their stamina. And that is perfect. They fought them off. See these troops here? I want to... I always, or usually... Bring in support. Now I'm going to bring in... These guys here. I'm just going to leave them column formation. I want to bring these guys... Here as well. Now you can give them different waypoints by holding down the control key and tapping, which is very useful. Um, sometimes uh, when you say, for instance, you tell them to go somewhere here, they'll take a roundabout 
uh, route, which is something that that you may not want to have happen. Instead of taking a direct route or whatever. Oh, we're being charged again. We're gonna open these guys up, put them in line formation, do a double quick time, get in line. As you can tell, we're going to be really hammered here. Really hammered. So I'm going to take these off. I'm going to take command of these to fellow here, or this fellow, the first battalion there, I'm going to be keeping in reserve. Now, I don't want to tire my men out too much. So you can tell here, it tells you it's fresh. That they're fresh. Their morale is very, very high. <coughs> now, if you happen to require help, that's important. You can pull up your courier. Status. You have to make sure that you choose exactly who you're asking for support. Okay guys, we're gonna put you in line. Now, some people might think, oh geez, this is awfully slow, and oh, trust me, it's comfort. It's comfortable right now. But trust me, when you start seeing the enemy approaching you, and I'll tell you my first experience with Scourge War Gettysburg when I played it, I literally got scared. It's because I was being confronted by Confederates that if anybody who knows anything about the American Civil War and the way the Confederacy or the Confederate troops fought, it was just outrageous. Calvary's gonna keep probing them. Probe. Let's do this. Let's bring those men up. And what we're gonna do is gonna put them right here. They're opening up on the church.
cavalry is going to just keep rushing, probing and weakening my men. Now, if they break right now, I'm in trouble. Okay, they didn't break. Good. Oh. I just pressed F, by the way. Which actually locks me into, like, whoever I'm, I've chosen. It'll lock me in place. Like, for instance, watch. I press F. It's going to lock me in. I can't move my head. Now I press F again. Here they come. That star, they got a commander bonus. They are resting right now, but they kept getting charged, which is now they've left, so which is good. Now, I could if I really wanted to. Now, I do know they're probably going to charge over here. Now, I could put these guys in a column and ask them to come back here. Stop. Bring these guys up front. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, right there. Okay. So I'm rotating my men right now. I don't want them getting too tired. Now these guys, I know they're going to be... Yeah, that's what the 
cavalry's gonna be doing. They're gonna harass the living crap. I hope they don't break. I really don't. Now, my troops should have a bonus here. Yeah, command bonus should help them out. They're a little winded. I don't have control over these troops here. Because they're not mine. Now if I want to go back to where I'm at, I'll just press me. Ah, I missed them being probed. And they killed off quite a few. That's good. How you do make it out here? They're okay. Rest up. That's one good thing. I mean, um, bonus visible to the enemy. Right now it's pretty quiet for me. But look at these guys. It's and that's only the troops that we're aware of. This whole back end here could be full of infantry. Now the formations of what I can give them is Oh, by the way, yeah, you can check to see how how well they're making out with the uh, with their ammo if they're getting sent back to uh, get resupplied. I haven't looked at this in a long, long time. You can. Oh, okay. Obviously, I didn't know that was existed. I haven't, I haven't played this. Now, if you send them off to a, say, a destination, you can use, tell them to use the ro roads, double quick time, halt, wheel, left or right, that sort of thing, column, line. Now, with the Napoleonic mod, uh, the Wargram, all these icons, not all of them, but the majority of them have changed, where you can, uh, where you can go into, ah, oh, jeez, I can't remember. I don't know, I'll, I'm just gonna call it box formation. Uh, you can change, it's totally different formation types. So. Alright, so yeah, you can also do a bow face. Bleak right, bleak left. Right flank, left flank. Uh, we just heard cannon. I actually did not, uh, activate my Right in front of you, believe me, you hear it. 
Three years, play, 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 play. Uh, I did get a little good at it, but nothing compared to some of the other people that are out there. Now, if I wanted to start pushing these guys back, I could advance, but it puts me at a disadvantage as well. Because right now, I do have the high ground. And I do have... Alright, let's see how much ammo these guys have. They have 53. Reload time of 40 seconds. This game's completely, uh, you can edit it. I mean, I've edited it. If I can do that, believe me, because I'm not that smart when it comes to these things. But the, the people on the forum, I'll be honest, they're really, 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 really good. I mean, if I had to rate uh, NSD among other independent developers, uh, and there are literally hundreds upon hundreds of indie developers out there. NSD would be top of the list. Absolutely. There's, uh, they're fantastic. And their product is always top range. That's the incredible part about it. Uh, Norb, Timco, he, all, uh, he also uh, created um, the Take Command series as well. Looks like everybody's getting in, getting taken care of. Now I do have, like I said, the right flank, so I'm a little, I'm not super concerned about these guys. But I'm just gonna leave them there for now. I want my men to rest. Now since these guys are in combat, I'm gonna bring my commander up there, give them an extra support bonus, including. Uh, Now, right now, the way it stands, I could pull these guys up and around. Actually, here. Alright, everybody. I just thought I'd create a video here for you. I'm going to save my battle. And... Under save one, so I can continue it. One next video of this game. Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and hop on over to their forum and take a look at their demo. Believe me. Uh, and yes, you actually can use your de your uh, the blah, 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 the demo for multiplayer as well. Take care. Over the hills and over the mine to Flanders, Portugal, and Spain. Queen Anne commands and we look high over the hills and Okay everybody. I'm sorry for the the audio being so loud. But there's really not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Now, as I finished off in part one. I was holding on to the right flank and the guys that I'm the side I'm on is doing quite well, but the left flank seems to be holding rather nicely as well. Okay.
now you can see there's a lot of cavalry units here. And they're really testing out the right flank, so I have to be kind of careful with that. So I'm bringing up these guys here, the 2nd Battalion, in a position to relieve these folks. To relieve the 1st Battalion. They're quite tired, so I'm going to start giving them a fallback order. And now I'm going to have these guys actually start falling in here. Meanwhile, I'm going to put them into a line formation. They're quite tired, so you have to be really... It, this is one of the best command simulators out on the market. Plain and simple. Now this here is a... Uh, Blenheim is a... Uh, is a modification, a like total conversion. For Scourge of War Gettysburg. Now I'm just going to give these guys a command to come just up here. Give these guys a rest. I'm going to give them a command to go... into column. I'm going to bring them around here. It's also going to help out a lot to bring my commander close by. Okay, I'm going to give him the gallop command. Now, if you wanted to play, if you really wanted to get serious, you can lock yourself into your saddle. You can lock yourself into your saddle. Oh, just let me do this for a second here. correctly I'm playing army versus army which is really quite heavy on the CPU because yeah, there's so many troops on the battlefield that it's absolutely ridiculous now you can see the left flank is going to end up having I hope it's going to have much more problem but as you can see as I'm coming in closer we got a shit big ass battle happening across this entire map. There's so much going on. Now, it's just an incredible simulation. Now I'm going to go back to myself now for a second. Because I want to make sure I know what's going on here with me. I don't want to lose... have to protect the left flank, or the right flank. If I don't, the rest of my army is going to get hammered from the ass end, so my position is extremely important here. Now, as I said, if I press M, I can see exactly what's going on. Now, the icons are, they haven't changed. They're, that's the Union side, this is Confederate, okay? But there really is no point in even, I mean, you can if you really want to get into that. Now, first, oh, I still didn't change over my freaking keyboard. Uh, I wanted to do that earlier. Son of a bitch. Now, Imagine the chaos here. Each commander has their own abilities and their own... It's... I have to say, I mean... And the thing is, what's really super incredible about this particular simulator is that it's coded by Norm Timco. And it's one guy, one guy, who has surrounded himself with some of the most incredibly intelligent people. And, and so, and the people that he surrounded himself with have so much knowledge 
about the American Civil War and about just not about the American Civil War. We're talking anything that is based, you know, like Waterloo or, you know, it's just, I mean, it's, it's mind-boggling exactly how much this particular team and experience has. It's just, and they just keep surrounding themselves with better and better people. It's, I don't know, I'm so impressed. It, I, uh, the, by this particular developer, and I've been following him for quite a long time, uh, for quite a few years. And all I ever used to do is actually um, is hang out on their forum and bug the living shit out of them. I'm telling you. But they tolerated me. That's for damn. That I have to give them that. They really tolerated me. Yeah, called Waterloo. Uh, no idea when it's... They're really quite tight-lipped. Uh, these folks... Um, they normally don't give up too much information. But they're very kind... <laughs> they're, they're, they're really quite kind to uh, noobs out there. Uh, this is all completely multiplayer. Um, even the demo they let you play has multiplayer in it. I mean... I only have good things to say about about this particular development team. Now they're exhausted, it's gonna take a while for them to pick back up. That's why I have my commander here. You know, to rally them a little bit and you know and give them what they need. Let's check on the rest of my troops here. Now I could press the attack, but I'm not gonna do that, because right now I'm at I have an advantage. Now since these guys are exhausted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up these guys. Actually, I'm going to pull up these guys. And I'm going to have them, since these guys are so exhausted. Now let's... just yet. They're just going to be there so I can swap them out and keep them as healthy as possible. Meanwhile, we'll keep an eye on here. Now, I can click on these guys and press F. I think I can press F. No, it won't let me. Are they even on my side? I don't think they're on my side. Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, oh, just to let you know, too, guys, uh, before I get start showing the, the, into the horrendous noise of battle here, uh, I know absolutely very little about the American Civil War or anything to do with these battles. Um, so, no one asked me any questions. I'm just somebody who enjoys this, this, these sort of simulations.
best AI I have ever seen in a simulation. They sent up troops in order to... Now, I could go in and harass the living shit out of these guys. What are we doing here? They're rested. Okay, they finally arrived. They're rested. They're getting better. They're a little weary, but... All the same. I need my men. Strong. What's really great about this is that they're holding back troops, they're holding back the regiments. Now, just because you're in charge of commanders, doesn't mean the commanders are going to do everything that you want them to do, because they're, you know, they're, they are their own. They have their own way of doing things. If they think that, and if they happen to think that what you're asking them to do is full of crap, well, I'm quite sure they'll tell you that you know, by not doing anything that you want them to. But playing this multiplayer, uh, I've watched quite a few videos. I've only taken part in maybe one or two because I'm not a multiplayer person. But it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And the reason why I don't play multiplayer is because, well, I'm very self-conscious. And, um, I always feel like I'm out of my league. <laughs> now, if I was a first-person shooter, not a problem. I can hold my own. Sometimes there's kind of decent little tidbits here about the NSD team. You, you, you get to see certain little things. But, um... Now, the only reason why I'm able to do this is because I know my, my troops are not exactly in harm's way, so... And my graphics are not maxed out on this game. So you're not getting the full glory of the maps. Because if you can 
muster up the, the power in order to, to like, go full max on your resolutions and everything else. It looks a ton better than this. Now you only see troops that are actually being seen by by other troops. What the hell? Who broke? Got more breaking. Okay. All right. What I mean is, say for instance, okay, you see all these troops here, right? Well. <clears throat> If I didn't have my men, or if any of my men never don't see them, or if any of my other, or the other troops that are out there, I won't see them. They won't exist. It's a fog of war, which in, it's realistic. And it's the same goes for the map. You'll get question marks, okay, saying that was the last sort of uh, position sort of thing, but that's the last position. I mean, it, you know. So, the fog of war is realistic in this game. Now you could, I think, through the settings, change that. But, uh, I don't know why he's pushing these guys. guys get attacked, I will bring my troops up in order to help them out. To take some of the heat off of them. From the direction of those eroded, uh, the direction they were coming from is from this, so. Now we start to pull, yeah, start to pull in the reserves now. To alleviate some of the pressure. Now when I play, I'm a little bit greedy. It's more like, you know, let them handle what they need to handle. And I'm going to keep my troops, I'm going to look after my troops. I mean, they're my troops. They're under my command. And I will protect them for as much as I possibly can. Now on occasion, I do throw them into situations if I'm really desperate. But for the most part, I'm cautious. But I won't back down from the enemy, especially if they really start pulling tactics. I've actually seen um, the AI use tactics that are just simply, you go, what the hell are they doing? And, and it's really tactically sound. It's really... And the way I play my game, the, this particular game, I always play it, I never play it by the saddle, but the RTS games that I that I played, like Command and Conquer and all that, I used very similar tactics. Yeah, they're definitely up to something here. I use similar tactics. I always make sure I have reserves for everything I do. Regiment, but this regiment can't see. 
like it's not in range to really open fire on them. I want to bring these guys close in. For maximum carnage. Now, what I've always asked for... Um, eye on that. But I'm happy they're pulling up their reserves from that. What the hell is that? thing is right now troops could be pulled walking through here and I don't see them. So I have to be careful with that. And these guys would be the guys I'd be using. I'd have the I'd pull them right in. As quick as I can, I'd run them into the ground so it's out. I'd rather not do that, but oh, there goes a lone guy there. They'll stream in and attack the back end of these guys. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is that right now, as it sits, I'm going to have to... I'm going to pull these guys out. And these guys. Don't want to do this, but I want to make sure I've got some support for them. separating here. But if that's all we have, Right now, as it stands, it's really kind of dangerous. Let's pull them here. Let's run them. Let's double quick time them. Shouldn't be doing that. I like keeping fresh troops. Yeah, they're going to be coming in for an attack soon. Okay, 
my guys are where? I don't want to tire them out too much. But they do need to get there soon. Okay, we got two. We got several regiments there. to occupy it, I'll bring him in and swing him in. Okay, what do we got here? They're still just picking away at those guys. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, this I have to stop. They're approaching them to hit them from the ass end. Go, run in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull these guys in now. Because I cannot have... I can't have that happen. I've gotta occupy these billion guys now. Oh. Get ready to fire, guys. Because they were heading to take the ass end of the other band. I can't have that. That would 
be really stupid of me not to help out the rest of the army here. How are you guys making out? Okay, you're okay for now. How are you guys making out? Look at these clowns. going to give them the ability to meanwhile got these guys flanked Guys flanked. Now, as long as these guys hold strong with me, I mean, we can protect. Get the job done. And how are these guys doing over here?
see how those guys just disappeared? That means none of my troops, no one has, has, no, no, they just reappeared. Slightly winded. They're winded. Somebody in. Um, these guys don't seem to hold all that well. Let's go call them, guys. This way, this way, this way. Let's go. Well, that could be the. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm just not going to second guess myself. guys here could break, which means he's going to be left open, but the thing is I don't think they're going to even bother with us. Okay, I'm going to save the game. Save number two. Okay, everybody, this is where this particular video is going to be ending today. This is part two. I'll have part three come up. In a little while. Um, imagine playing this multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Just simply incredible. Take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.